Choices have consequences. You are free to choose, but you are not free to escape the consequences of your decisions. What a man sows, he will reap. You are free to choose. How many of you have been to the Empire State Building? Or you understand the Empire State Building? Now this little boy wanted to jump. And somebody told him, little boy, don't jump. The little boy said, why not? Because there's a law of gravity. You jump, you will fall. The boy said, what is the law of gravity? I don't understand the law of gravity. I don't believe in the law of gravity. I'm going to jump. You know, the boy is free to jump or not to jump. But the moment he jumps, what will he discover? You are not free to escape the consequences. You see, consequences are not immediate. I've discovered something about flying. If you are one degree off the course, after 60 miles, you are only one mile off. You can correct it. But after traveling 1,000 miles, one degree off, you will not know where you are anymore. You cannot see because you are off by 60 miles. And many of us are thinking it's okay to be one degree off. I don't have to follow the Lord all the way. A little compromise. That's a problem with sin. Sin is very deceptive. It will take you farther than you wish to go. It will let you stay longer than you want to stay. And it will cost you more than you will want to pay.